Hi, today we're here to answer the question, is your CPA firm secure enough? Your clients put your trust in you to secure their personally identifiable and financial information. If that information were disclosed, your firm will be subject to substantial fines and loss of reputation. In addition, your cyber risk insurance may deny your claim if you lack proper controls and documentation. I put together a five-part presentation to give you the knowledge to be well prepared for a cyber attack and sleep well at night. Part one is called Recommended Controls. I'm Bill Zelensky, a certified information systems security professional with 30 years of experience managing IT systems for CPA firms in the Capital District. The first control I'd like to discuss is Endpoint Security. Endpoint Security is software which protects physical devices that connect to a network system. It detects and terminates malicious activity. Malicious activity is determined by digital signature, behavioral monitoring, and predictive machine learning. Some versions of the software also evaluate web reputation and virtually patch known vulnerabilities. It may also include a firewall. It needs to be updated continuously to maintain functionality. Routine thorough scans are necessary in addition to real-time scanning. Advanced products may also determine the source of malicious attacks. The next control I'd like to discuss is a firewall. A firewall is a system designed to control what can enter or leave a private network. It's important because it prevents threats from the internet from reaching your computer. Traffic is allowed or denied by something called an access control list. A firewall could be host-based, running on a computer, or network-based, running on a dedicated device located between the internet connection and the network. It must be able to process faster than internet connection speed to be effective. Advanced devices can also scan traffic for malicious activity and block it. Many firewalls also include the ability to create a virtual private network or VPN. Next is multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication maintains privacy by controlling who can access a resource or data. It is especially important for systems accessible over the internet since everyone in the world could attempt to impersonate you. It works by requiring you to provide multiple methods of identifying yourself, which includes something you know, something you have, or something you are. Common techniques include password, text code, email code, fingerprint, face print, and authenticator apps. The next control is backup. Backup makes a copy of critical files to an external location where they can be retrieved when needed. It provides recovery from data loss, whether accidental or malicious. Backups can be stored on or off-site. On-site backups are typically used for business continuity because they can be restored quickly. Off-site backups are typically used for disaster recovery. Backups should be tested periodically to make sure they are functioning. Backups are safe for a period of time appropriate for data retention requirements. Technology should be selected appropriate for the time requirement to complete a backup and the time required to complete a restore. Next, we will discuss encryption. Encryption protects private data from exposure by an unauthorized party. Private data should be encrypted when stored and transmitted. Encryption works by encoding and decoding data using public and private keys. Only persons in possession of the keys may access the information. Encryption can be broken by brute force with enough processing power. Sophistication is measured by the number of bits in the encryption key. 256 bits is considered secure by current standards. Last is virtual private networks. Virtual private networks provide a way to communicate securely over the public internet. 
They allow collaboration from anywhere in the world. They work by providing security using both authentication and encryption. VPNs can be between a computer and a network, known as remote access, or between two networks, which is known as site-to-site. -site. VPNs are frequently included with firewall devices. To summarize, the six controls you need to protect your CPA firm are endpoint security, firewalls, multi-factor authentication, backup, encryption, and virtual private networks. Thank you.